What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're gonna be talking about something in my team, and it is, is this the end of free cards? Is this the end of free cards for the totality of my team? Obviously not. But is this the end of free cards for a while? Maybe, maybe, which is scary. Which is legitimately, legitimately scary, because if you guys don't know what's coming out, out next week, Season 6. And Season 6 was bad last year. It was bad. But again, it doesn't really matter if you Season 6 and 2 or 22 was great. But lads, we have to take into account that we're not getting a rush next week. Rush is over. Six days, nine days. So this is the end of the season. We're not getting a three-day long rush. Although, although what I would love, what I would love for 2K to do, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. So you see in, let's just say... On Tuesday, um, everything comes back. All the rush sets come back on Tuesday. Not the inevitable super pack or maybe rush super packs come on Tuesday. Bring back every single challenge. So, for example, like, look, I'm not going to get Granger. I'm not going to get Granger. But what I might get is, for example, I might go and get myself... Um, I was about to say, well, I got myself anyone. No, I'm not going to get myself anyone. In three days, oh, too much time. But still, that would be kind of something, I guess. Because, like, I I might get faults. I might go and get faults, I'd say. Um. But, uh, yeah, basically, that is what we've got right now. So, we've got um. kind of the end of the free content for this season. So, the time of the year it is, like, if we look at Season 6 last year, do you know Season 6 last year we had one grindable card, and it was Lil Yachty? I'm not joking. So, we go to Season 6 last year. Start of Season 6 was the start of April with Supersonic. Um, actually, you know what? I'm wrong. We got one other free card. We got a free locker code, Shangoon or Dennis Rodman. But we got, in Season 5, we were getting cards every day, basically. We're getting free cards every day. And season six started. See these heroic cards? Yeah, none of these none of these guys were free. Although the pink times were 2000 MT, which was not too bad. Lil Yachty. See this man right here? This was the only free card we got. In the entirety of season six. In its entirety. At least, look at this. Evo's update, Evo's update, out of position two. Nothing. Heroic. Evo's. It was literally Pax Tuesday, Pax Friday. Pax Tuesday, Pax Friday. And like, the only positive thing was, is that like, if you look at these sets, 10,000 MT, beast. He was about 50k. But even in Titans packs, every single card that was under a Dark Matter, like he was about 30k, by the way, Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, no, actually, I'm, I'm wrong. Dirk Nowitzki was a lot more than 30k. He was probably about 100k. Um, So, Luol Deng was probably about 50k. Jalen Rose, about 20k. And all of these other Opals, these three right here, were eight, were like 8k. And all of these guys were 2,000 MT. I remember that because I sniped. I made so much MT off, that, off these sets, sniping 2,000 MT pink diamonds. Interdimensional. At least we were getting something. Let's not forget this GOAT. But um, yeah, so the problem was, it was even though we did get good packs, we got nothing to grind. Whereas when we look at this season, season five, um, we actually got some decent stuff to grind. Like I'm not even counting today's as ain't decent. Last week's was great. Wordy's was pretty good. Um, this sucked. It really sucked. But it's like Max Truce was a locker code. And for anyone saying, oh, but it's too easy if they allow you challenges to get this card. You're acting like he's that much better than Max Truce. Max Truce is a much better release, by the way. On next gen, I heard Max Truce sucks on current. One of these guys was locker code. The other is like a really long grind and quote unquote like, oh, they have to make it like hard to get, otherwise everyone would have him. Man, he's Max Truce. Like, <laughs> same damn card. But yeah, um. 
it's a it's it's disappointing it is kind of disappointing what we've seen but we're not getting any new ones we're not getting any more rush and i don't think they replace rush with something better in season six lads i don't think i think we could get another season of no grindable content as imagine imagine just imagine how bad this season would have been without rush without rush lads you know what we get this season we get a locker code for Donovan Mitchell. In, in during week one of the season, we got a locker code for Mitchell. Um, we got a pretty decent Chris Middleton card, and a Moncrief card if you got Moncrief. Uh, we also had got. Let's see. Nothing in the iconic or no card other than like Lamar after week day one of the season. Nothing under like seventy k. And we got a domination. A domination. Which is fine by itself, by the way. But without Rush, all we would have had was a domination. We're going back to 2K15 con level content with that. But uh, yeah, it's... Um, it's mad that the one thing that's going from this season is... The one thing good from this season is going. And I genuinely think that there's not going to be any types of grinds in season, se in season 6. I actually think them putting Opals in the player market, and by the way, Dark Matters and 100 overalls are not going in the player market. They're staying gambling only. I think them putting Opals in the player market is going to be like their big, oh, we're doing so great. And I actually have a weird feeling they're going to price them at like 500k, which is a ludicrous price, which is an absolutely ludicrous price. Like they're going to price a random ass Galaxy Opal, which is the third highest tier, more expensive VC wise than getting Invincible Wembenyama last year. Um, And I have a really bad feeling that that's what we're going to get. And we're going to get something at Easter. Uh, I wonder what it's going to be. Uh, that's why we got Dennis Robin. They always give us Robin at Easter. That's why we got Robin. Because it's Easter week. Um, they give us a code at Easter. It'll be a pink diamond code. It'll be a pink diamond wall drop. And the card's probably going to suck. Realistically, that's what we're going to get. And I hate to say it. But like, when it happens... I don't want them to say I told you so, but I'm going to say I told you so. Like, it's not like back in the day. If you don't remember back in the day, um, let me just take a look. NBA 2K21 Easter. DBG. I'm just going to see if I can find it. Um, so you see this right here? We're at, we're at 2K21 right now. And we're looking at the old when DBG was relevant. 38,000 views, lads. 38,000 views. We got this locker code right here. You guys can't really see it. But Levine was like 45k. So like Larry Nance was... I can't remember what type of reward he was. But you obviously couldn't get him anymore. I think he might have been Ascension. Um, Desmond Mason kind of sucked. Jordan was early in the year, but he was still Jordan. Paul George was a... Retro card, but this Zach Levine moments card was a beast, and we happened to go and get ourselves a Zach Levine. I sold the guy for 50k. I sold him for 50k. We had one of the best Easter events ever in NBA 2K22. Uh, basically, you were able to get 50 tokens like that. Um, there were these Easter packs that you could get, and they were all right, but like that's kind of all we're gonna get, and that's realistically all we're gonna get. But yeah, it's a uh, it's probably gonna be the end of it for a while. And what do you guys think? Do you guys think we're gonna be getting like something good at Easter? Do you guys think we're gonna be getting nothing? Do you guys think it's gonna be like other years, or do you guys think we're gonna get an, an, something better than the rush set? I have a really bad feeling. Actually, you know what? I think season, even without Rush, I actually think that because I think maybe Pink Diamonds dropped to like 40k, to 30k. If Pink Diamonds dropped to 30k, maybe, just maybe, we could see something of relevance in the game next season. Some of these cards might actually be budget cards. But like, I don't know. I really don't know. But, uh, 
yeah, obviously, we actually got a auctionable Dennis Rodman locker code in 2K22. But every year, there's been an Easter locker code. So I don't think this is the end of free content for the season. But I will say, this is highly likely to be the end of the rush set or the end of this type of free agendas. Because, one, I can't see 2K wanting to give us the highest tier for free ever again. Um, and two, it's not like people were that happy about this, so I can't see 2K repeating it, even though it was is pretty good. So, in the last video, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.